Okay, and we're six months into 2024 and it's time to do a checkup on the goals I've set for myself for this year and to see if I'm actually making the right steps towards it because if you're not already making the right steps towards the goals you set for yourself, please, let me ask you, what are you doing? And I gotta be honest that I've been a bit more consistent in different areas because, um, yeah, that's just how it has been going. I have been very consistent in some areas and some areas are just, I've just... So you're like, mm, I'm not gonna do it. So let's get into the video and see how far I've gotten with the goals I set for myself. Okay, so what are the four goals I set for myself? I have split them in four categories for this year and that was personal, materialistic, content creation and my business or my design startup, Studio Heart Designs. Okay, let's talk about it. So in my goals video, I mentioned that I want to be a bit more consistent with my health, with my uh, cooking skills and with my Christianity. I gotta be very, very honest. Of those three things, I think I've been a bit more consistent with one and that is my health. That's why I'm exercising. So as for my cooking skills, don't get me wrong, I can cook. It's just that I am very lazy. I don't, not lazy, I'm not gonna say that actually. It's more like, I, I don't know. I am just, not, I'm not, what am I saying? Basically it's more like I know that I can reach the things. I know I can cook and I, it's easy. If I get, just get into it, it's easy. It's just that I don't want to do it because it's not, I don't really like cooking that much and I'm trying to just find joy in the process of making it and making good food that you eat. For some reason I like pushing it away. So that's something I really need to tackle in this last six months because if I don't start tackling those issues right now, how was I gonna plan cooking? Like, what am I doing? And next thing up is Christianity. I gotta be very honest that that's, that's of course it's a topic that um, I don't speak a lot on about on my channel, to be honest. It's something that I'm working on. Let me just say it like that. It's something I'm working on. And uh, I pray that by God that it will be get better and that I will just do my best. That's all I'm trying to do. Do my best and just become the best, best version and uh, follow his way. That's just, I'm gonna say about that. And secondly and lastly is my health. Actually that has been going, the beginning of the months were actually very bad because I didn't do anything. But then I started following at least once a week with my exercise at work, consistently for like four weeks. Okay. But then I went to holiday and then I didn't go for like three weeks. But then in that time, I had a friend write up a, a workout plan for me and uh, which basically consists of different groups so my upper body uh, leg days uh, abs and uh, full body workouts so with with the help of that plan i've actually been very consistent with it two weeks ago i did my three first time that i did three workouts in a week and that was home workouts second week was only two one with work and then the second was an ab workout but i didn't do the third one because actually currently my shoulder is kind of hurting so i'm just taking a rest but i can see that if i just dedicate time after work to just work out i have the time to do it and i think that the problem that i had last year was just that i didn't make time for it i didn't find it important enough but honestly my health and my christianity and just be my person in general it all goes hand in hand because we all have this body you have to nurture it so that i can do stuff with it you know that sounds very sketchy but you understand what i mean so i guess that's it i've been very consistent with my health and that's something i actually want to improve i've also been consistently trying to eat fruit and uh being healthy in general just cutting down slack like bags of chips uh, i still remember when i used to eat a whole bag of chips like that's not healthy i don't really drink a lot of soda so drinking a lot of water and just being more watchful with what i eat i think that's just important and especially as a young person i really want to be my peak physique this year so that's by by this new workout plan that i got off my friend thank you very much i'm planning to stay and remain consistent with the things that i set for myself for this year so i'm I, I truly believe that if I remain consistent with all this, with all the workouts you have said, that I will be happier with where I am with my health at the end of this year. So I'm really curious with how that's going to go. Okay, so next topic and the next category is going to be personal. And those are four goals that I set for myself was um, read more books, so at least every month one or two, start drawing again, make my voice louder, speak clearly, and another thing but i'm not gonna mention that because i was supposed to be surprised but um read books no i've just not been doing that i have been reading but not consistently 
it's let me just say i've not picked up a book in the last what two weeks so you can see how that goes and then like um drawing again i have not picked up a pencil since the last time i said that it's been six months i've still not touched a pencil i've not drawn anything i'm not doing anything which is kind of sad because i did enjoy drawing so much i remember that i used to watch anime and just draw on sundays just draw uh when i'm watching something listening to music or with my also with digital painting with photoshop and stuff i was just drawing and just vibing but i have just not spent I, you know what it is i think that with the whole goal setting for the year and everything you can see what you find more important you can see where your priorities are and you can see what you want to spend more and dedicate more time to and for me right now that's not drawing and that is kind of sad because it is a passion that i had since a kid so i don't understand why i'm still not establishing it but i guess i just have to make more time i think with all this with whole goal setting and the things you want to achieve time management is key time management is just so important that you know okay these are things i want to reach how am i going to dedicate the time towards uh, doing that and that's just an issue that i have that i'm trying to see what is the best efficient way to do the things that i set for myself yeah it's hard i gotta be honest it's hard and yes speaking clearly that's something i did not really highlight but honestly yes i have been speaking clearly and that's great i'm very happy with myself for doing that because why would i ah it's going well let me just say that what do you guys think of my new shirt i got this at a thrift store in london when i went with my friend category three and that is content creations and the goals that i set for myself was a backup system upload every week to youtube and tiktok or let me just say instagram by discipline three create powerful short form content improve my storytelling and get better at post-production scripting and prepping shot lists etc so the backup system. I clearly did not take the losing of my hard drive and two years of my work seriously enough for me to actively start looking for a backup system because I have not, up to this day, I have still not gotten a backup system. I still have not found a bad backup system and honestly, I have done my research. I've already done everything so I'm planning to do it this week so I can get my backup system in order so that I can keep my YouTube files and repurpose content and just have a backup system in general guys if you're a designer if you're a youtuber if you're a creative back up your files because i lost my files was it one or two years ago in my hard drive and i lost those files and i never got them back and that was two years of my work and i never backed it up so if that's not your warning please just go and i, I did not jinx anyone please i did not jinx you I'm gonna disclaim, set a disclaimer out here. I did not jinx you, but it's important as a creative to have a backup system. It's definitely, especially, it's just scary with the whole stuff in general, honestly, because let's say you have your hard drive, like in my case, I had a hard drive, I lost my files. You thought that the hard drive was gonna keep your files safe, but they actually did not keep it safe. And let's say you keep it in an online system or every, anything. Someone, the company goes, I don't know, broke or it gets hacked. Your files are also gone, so it's just a, I guess it's just a thing we have to deal with honestly and next up is uploading a youtube video to my channel every week and i have i am so proud to say that i have actually done that six months long new videos is actually very impressive for, impressive for me i remember literally starting out with youtube and saying okay i was going to be consistent blah 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 and then i slacked didn't post for like three months and then i came back again but this year I have been so consistent with my content creation, I'm actually really proud of myself because for six months, I have uploaded every week to YouTube, new design and diaries episodes, even cinematic content, sometimes even double uploads, and on TikTok or Instagram, my short form content, I have uploaded every single week. And that is actually an achievement I wanna celebrate. Let's give a round of applause. But well, actually, I'm really happy with how that I am consistent and making sure that I do this. I'm very dedicated and I can see that because of my consistency, consistency in posting my content, the type of content I post, that my channel is growing step by step, steady, slowly, but slowly like growing and I'm really proud of myself. That was honestly not possible by myself. I did that with the power of God. I'm really grateful for him giving me the talent to do this, to do video creation, to do content creation. I'm just happy that I've been very consistent with my content creation journey in general. And I'm really grateful for the talents that I have to actually still do this. And I'm really just happy with myself in general that I've been posting consistently and I have been putting in the work and that I have been making time for it. And 
not making any excuses that's the thing i just made excuses oh i'll do it another time oh i'll do it another time that was the excuse that i used the last two years but this year we're on fire and i'm happy and let's be on fire for god y'all okay um uh, creating new short form content that has been going very well so far and i gotta be honest that i've been posting every week and i've been posting consistently sometimes even double uploads and um i'm happy with what i'm creating so far and honestly with all this content creation stuff what is the i think the biggest mindset switch of me is that i stop looking at the numbers and i just started creating whatever i like honestly oh you always hear this word niche down box yourself down do this stick to a stuff stick to a topic what well, I don't want to do that. I just want to do whatever I want. And I know that maybe that's not, um, the algorithm doesn't, the algorithm doesn't profit that, doesn't encourage that. But honestly, with this stuff and with whole social media, I'm just doing it because I find it fun. So why not just post whatever I want? And that's exactly what I'm doing. And uh, so far, I'm proud with what, I've do, with what I've been putting out. The only thing I do want to improve though is my storytelling. I feel like I've not really spent the time to learn and enhance that skill a bit better but um i'm working to do that and yeah improve that in general i think that's just important by watching movies by watching other youtubers it's just important okay, so next up is my startup the last point last category and that's studio hard designs and new websites proper brand book documents needed and i have a clear brand package for studio hard designs that was one two is getting studio hard designs out there and being very serious with marketing maybe combine tiktok with shd and third one was post weekly on social media by bit discipline updating my portfolio with real slash new work that's well built no rush projects and have at least four new clients okay so honestly having my startup and my design stuff has been a stuff that i've not really spent enough time on i gotta be honest that i really like grinded my content creation and kind of neglected my design studio stuff i wanted to work on and I think that's also the same thing like I said with time management is that it shows what you um, prioritize more especially with like the goals you set for yourself I said before you can see what you want to work on and what you enjoy maybe a bit more than uh, by how you spend your time let me just say it like that and I feel like I indeed just prioritize other things which led to my website not being done by this time literally by this video i have not finished my website or maybe i have i don't know and i feel like i if i had spent my time indeed more wisely i would have had it finished by now and that i would have studio hard science up and running and um yeah that's just a pro that's just something i did that's just something really i did and in terms of branding i feel like i get stuck very easily because it's my own branding there's so many design styles that you see out there that i like and i enjoy and that's why it's sometimes hard to like stick to one thing and i think that has been my issue with setting up my brand book for studio hard science and with a new logo and everything i decided to drop the new logo but i wanted to have like a good style like a good branding style and honestly i've been i have not been doing that i I don't know, I feel like it's so hard to stick, especially as a designer where you see a lot of stuff at work, you see cool design styles, you think, oh, I want to have that in my brand. But you can't have everything in your brand. You need to really stick down to one line so that everything is aligned and not um, all over the place. Let me just say it like that. Yeah, and in terms of the brand book slash doc document designs and everything, I've not started working on these yet. I do want to set aside more time so I can focus on studio hard science and finish it and start doing active proposals and actively reaching out to clients. It's very important for me that I do this. And I hope I've actually been in the screen. I can't really see it because my DJI stuff is blocking it. Well, I hope I've been in the screen. I really do hope so. But, um, and if not, yeah, I'm sorry guys. But one thing I, I am happy on uh oh yeah one thing that i'm happy that i did start doing because i saw that my portfolio website was not going to be out on time i decided to start posting weekly again on my studio hard science and which allowed me to start working on my portfolio projects again uh passion projects work on other projects again and so i can like actively still build my portfolio while i'm working on putting and setting up and establishing studio hard designs on the side and i have been consistent with that so far and um uh, like doing collab posts, like like design like with my designs that I created, showcasing that on my like main account, and then also doing collaborative co collabor whoa, collaborative post on Instagram with my business account, so that people can see that I'm still designing. I'm still a designer, guys. 
It's just that nowadays you just see a lot of Design Diaries episodes and that's basically just trying to give you guys a peek in my life through the design and through my startup. That was the, like the original goal of starting these vlogs. So that's really what I'm trying to bring back a lot. I hope you guys notice that I'm trying to add more designs to my videos, more process of what I'm doing with my business and just showcasing that design area of me a lot because that's still part of my life and that's something I do as a job. So it's important for me to showcase that and um, bring that back in the videos and yes that's also one thing very importantly with what i have been doing with content and everything honestly i did start prioritizing quality before quantity before i used to post at least three times a week some in the beginning of my instagram stuff i even started posting every single day but that was covid so that was when i we just had a lot of time on our hands but like now with design stuff i then i started posting three times a week but now i decided to do it once a week is enough once a week a new post that's all you're gonna get and if i can do maybe more i'll do that but for now quantity quality over quantity that's something quality over quantity quality over quantity whoa i dropped the accent Qual quality before quantity oh, oh my god Quality before qua qua huh? Quality before quantity. Quality before quantity. That's how you say it in Nigerian accent. But it is better to post something good than rush and upload stuff that isn't good. And that is exactly what I've been trying to do. Spend more time working on the process, creating something a bit better than rushing out and oh, I need to get this video out by now. If not, the algorithm won't favor me. I need to get this out right now. If not, the algorithm won't favor me. Oh my God, I need to post right now. Oh, this is trending. I am not doing that shit. I'm sorry. If you know me as a person, I'm not gonna start following trends. I'm just gonna do whatever I want and just post and create stuff that I like. I'll find my people and it takes time. I know it takes time, but as I said in my video, the life is not a race, it's a marathon that we're running and that's exactly how I'm doing standing in my goals. If I don't reach the goals that I set for myself this year, next year we have another year to fix it. But it's still important to put the right steps towards it. Honestly, the conclusion that I have for this video, so that was all the goals I set for myself. And the conclusion that I have for this video, I'm gonna read it from my, from my Notion stuff. You guys know that I love Notion and I've been obsessed with it ever since which I started my channel and I discovered it. So if you are a content creator and you need to have a place where you can organize your content, I recommend Notion. This is not sponsored by the way. One day, hopefully. It's hard to balance between my health, business and content creation, but I want to be able to say at the end of the year that yes, I did find a way to balance it all. At the end of it all, it all comes down to myself. If I don't take my goals that I set for myself seriously, then I won't reach the goals and I'm only slowing down my own progress. And uh, I think that over the six, past six months, I think I've learned that time management, um, your priorities and the mindset you have towards things will definitely help you um, achieve the goals you set for yourself. And I think that the thing that I maybe I could improve a bit better to reach the goals is time management. I think I just need to put my priorities right and finish things that I need to get done. I think that's just important. And I think priorities, priorities and time management goes hands in hand because if you have certain priorities you, priorities you need to get done, like for example, I'm recording this video, I prioritize that I will do this in the first thing in the morning. That means that it's important, I need to get it done. But like for example, let me just say, this is just a honest example, like Christianity, oh, um, I'm working on this video till late. This is literally just a real life example. I'm working on this video till late. I need to get it out by tomorrow. So I prioritize that over reading my Bible. And that's just something that I've been doing way too much. And I'm actually ashamed of saying that. But um, I think that I just need to set my priorities right and fix it. That's just the thing. I need to prioritize my stuff just more. And that's something that I'm just going to be working on more is like, one, health, which is going well. So I'm really proud of myself. Secondly, no, you know what, what am I saying? First, Christianity, work on my Christianity because if I don't have him, how am I supposed to go through this world? Uh, and secondly, health. Health is also goes hand in hand with myself. And if I have a good health, my body, I will feel better in the mindset. So that's just the two things that I will struggle with and that I will conquer and win. I'm not a loser, I'm gonna win. 
but that's the thing I'm gonna work on and I'm I believe that it will go it will all be all right I will all be all right I just need to set my priorities straight that's it guys the word and the word of this week's video and this whole design and all this whole goal video is set your priorities straight have your time management peak just be obsessed about it I watched a video of Omega oh Adrian on Instagram and he just had the same stuff I watched a video of Adrian Pearl on Instagram and he just said the same stuff you need to your priorities and your time management start blocking out times and be obsessed with it I used to be obsessed with my time I used to okay I need to do this by this time I need to get that done by that time and then I slacked but now we're back setting my priorities right and time management that's those two things that are going to go in hand in hand I'm gonna put it in my room and um, start working on it consistently so i hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video it's a bit of a different video than my usual design diaries episode but i ho did hope you guys enjoyed it and these are things just things that are also important and things you need to work in as a creative is as i said before the word of this uh, this video is pro no, priorities and time management those are things that i really need to work on and i think that if i just set those things right we're all good and i can actually say that maybe at the end of the year i would say you know what i've reached all my goals so thank you guys for watching today's video and i also want to say use this moment to take to say thank you to all the subscribers that we have reached 600 subscribers i'm really grateful for that it seemed like a small number for some people but for me i'm really grateful especially since the last channels that i've built they all had one had 1000 chat subscribers well, I didn't reach those 1,000 by posting my own content, but this is my own content that people are subscribing to, and I'm really grateful for that, and yeah, I'm just thankful. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you're interested in seeing a whole different side of short-form content in like what I do. Make sure you follow me there on Instagram, at It's Monica Fazunert, and on TikTok, Monica Fazunert, and... Don't forget to check out my startup. I'm going to be posting more design stuff. And if you're interested in my designs, I know there are design lovers out there that are watching my vlogs. Please do watch them and check out my Instagram at Studio Heart Designs and get inspired. And I will try to do more brand videos and just showcase a bit more of my passion projects uh, and stuff that I'm working on more on the Design Diaries episodes because that's just important. And that's enough yapping for me. Because if not, I can talk to this camera till the next 10 minutes. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week.